because I'm just getting home from work and apparently Austin just did as well. He has been down at the storage unit, AKA dirt bike shop. So we're gonna find out how things are going down there. Austin, my man. Welcome back to our channel. We're so glad you guys are here hanging out with us today. Today is a very cold and snowy rainy day here in Utah. In fact, Southern Utah, which is about four hours from us, got pounded with snow. The storm kind of like went out and around us in Salt Lake and we got nothing here. And then up north, about two hours from us, got dumped on with snow as well. So we kind of lucked out, didn't get the snow here, but it's super cold, raining. It's supposed to start snowing on Thursday here, they're saying. So we'll see if we actually get any snow. We are on the hunt for how Halloween costumes still. We have not been able to find anything for Claire other than a cowgirl hat. They both need flannel shirts for, to go with their outfits. Claire still needs a pair of boots. We were having a really, really hard time finding a pair of cowboy boots. I have searched high and low for those. They either don't have her size or they're just crazy expensive. We're still on the hunt for that. We are gonna run to Cabela's really fast because we just saw online. They have some really cute flannel shirts and they're on sale. So we are hopefully gonna run to Cabela's with these two cute little girls and find some flannel shirts that can go with their outfits. Check that off the list. Owen has decided he is going to go as a Cobra Kai ninja. Him and his friends are all gonna dress up as Cobra Kai and so we're gonna get that ordered. Austin I don't think is gonna dress up. Guys, unfortunately I have to get my wisdom teeth out the day before Halloween so I will not be dressing up. I most likely will not feel well enough to really go out and do much of the trick-or-treating thing so it's gonna fall on clay this year unfortunately. Unfortunately, but that's the only time my oral surgeon could get me in and my teeth are killing me again So it has to get taken care of and maybe it'll be a blessing in disguise I will eat all the Halloween candy because <laughs> my teeth will hurt too bad But you guys finish your snacks and we will run try and find your Halloween costumes It feels like winter has officially set in here in Utah even though it's only the end of October It is freezing cold. The wind is freezing. Holy moly. We've made it to Cabela's we can find what we are looking for. They usually have really great stuff here, so hopefully we can find what we need. Holy moly, it's freezing, huh? We are all bundled up in our winter gear. All right, let's find the kids' clothes. Get the candy stash here. It's small just for you? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's still pretty big just for you. Yeah, but like I can put my feet on the ground. And touch to the bottom, that's a plus. Yes. Maybe it has something to do with your high heels you have on, you think? No, see, I, I can do it on my teachers. Oh, that means you're growing, Carm. Big. I guess it is quite small compared to this one here. See, on this one, I can grow. You can't one. touch on that one? Kind of. Come on, we're getting sidetracked. Okay. Look at all those animals, Carm. If only they were real. If only they were real, that would be super cool, huh? Did you find the kids section, Claire? We got snow clothes. Now, if only we could find plaid shirts. Right here, Claire. Oh, cute. Super cute stuff. All different colors. Is that the one you want, Claire? Yeah. That's what I want, too. This one's really cute. That's more of that's a thicker one. That one's got liner in it. That was, I like that one. That one's adorable. They have purple over there, Carm. Let's look right here. Look, they have purple. That one's thick, too. They have this one. Do you like any other ones? I don't know. I'm trying to I also think it would be fine if you guys had the same shirt. Claire's against that. I think it would be fine. But also, Carmen, this green winter air is super cute. So, take your pick. We have moved on to the women's clothing. Claire is big enough to fit in some women's clothing, so we are trying on a few shirts here that are different than the one that Carmen wants, so they don't have to match. So, she's trying to find something a little different than what Carmen wants. You like that one? Yeah, I want this one. She wants this yellow, and maybe we could ask and see if they have a small somewhere in the back, maybe. So you'd rather have this super cute yellow color, which is adorable. Let's ask somebody. I think it looks really cute on you, though. This? Mm-hmm. If they don't have the yellow one, I think the blue one will be really cute on you. Unfortunately, Cabela's does not have any boots. I mean, they do, but let's be real here, folks. I am not spending $160 on those boots. So we're gonna have to go back to the drawing board. We did choose a shirt, so we got that. We're moving along here on these Halloween costumes very, very slowly, but we're gonna get there. <laughs> I'm about to go to Ivy. Yes, maybe. All right.
used to be able to feed them, but they don't have any food in here. Oh, there's a little bit in there? Do you guys want to feed them? Yeah. Really fast? Yeah. Alright, you got some? Yeah. Okay. Alright, throw them in there. They're going crazy. Did you throw it all? Did you throw it all in there? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, I bet they get fed a lot. We got lots of big deer and elk in here. Holy yeah. cow! Wait, tell me that again. You're doing an animal report on what? A snowshoe hare. A snowshoe hare. Oh, that's cool. I don't know if they have one of those in here, but that'll be a fun to learn about that. Doing it because it's wild animal to eat. Oh, it's a native animal to Utah, right? Wild. But it's wild, that's true. What are these little guys down here? Prairie dogs? My table name is called the Prairie Dogs. So <laughs> Your table name at school is the Prairie Dogs? <laughs> it's very fitting for you. <laughs> I was the one who thought of it. You were? Why, that doesn't surprise me one bit. Guys, I'm just getting home from work and apparently Austin just did as well. He has been down at the storage unit, AKA dirt bike shop. So we're gonna find out how things are going down there. Austin, my man, just munching on a chocolate chip cookie. But will you tell us, how are things going down there? How's the project coming along? Tell us about the bike. Pretty good. I've got a ton of stuff moved around, all stuff taken out of the drawers that are in them previously. So I got all my tools and all my parts organized into my, my bench so everything's all ready to go. I got my parts washer all ready to go and I've been cleaning parts all day long. Yeah, it's going pretty good. Nice. So when do you expect to have everything ready to go into powder coating? Powder coating? Probably yes. the end of this week. End of the week. But I probably won't get it done by February. Next the whole year. project? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I'm going through everything. So mm -hmm. this is definitely my biggest project. This is my 10th rebuild, so I'm going big on this one. Ten. Yeah. Well, I'm excited to see how it turns out. All right, we got the Austin update, and now it is time for the Owen update. Owen, my man, what is going on in your life right now? Um, right at this very moment. Well, I'm holding the speaker. It's a great speaker. It is a great speaker. Andy. <laughs> but today is the end of the term. We're going to fall break. Dude, how are your grades? Um, they're better than last year. Like, how good are we talking? Um, I have two A minuses and then the A's. And the rest A's. Mm -hmm. Dude, that's impressive. Put it right here. Good work. Owen's been putting in a ton of work, not only at school, but at home. Owen has been grinding on the weights, drinking the protein shakes. Right, Sarah? Yeah. Trying to turn into the next Doug. Doug from 50 First States. Is that your goal? Yeah. To be Doug? Doug is my role model. <laughs> The poster in my room. Dude, now that you're getting all tough and jacked, I mean, what what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do when you get so big? I'm gonna become Doug. You're gonna become Doug. Um, are you gonna take any more crap from Austin? No, <laughs> I don't. He's actually been a lot nicer to me lately. Really? Now that he knows you can beat him up? Yeah. That's the way it works, man. He's like, he even said goodnight to me one time. <laughs> Really? Yeah. No way. One time he told me. I you said goodnight, and all the other times he ignores me. Yeah. He said goodnight, like last week. Oh my gosh. So, That's crazy. It's the closest we've ever been, right? Things are changing for you, man. It's true. Big things. Guys, no matter how much Owen works out, he'll never be tougher than Terry. This woman right here is very tough. And she's got a Carhartt hat on, so you do not want to meet her in the <laughs> Please. <laughs> Guys, we are getting closer and closer to having the Halloween costume thing figured out. I just have to order Owens, and I'm still on the hunt for some boots for Claire. Other than that, we have everything we need for the girls and for Owen. Austin, I don't think, is dressing up this year. He's being a party pooper. Oh, jeez. So, That's too bad. Yeah. But are guys, you dress up? Uh, well, I haven't decided yet. <laughs> I know it's coming quick. I uh, have not bought a costume, so what about you? Get on it. Are you um, dressing up? I'm hoping to just, well maybe I'll go as a chipmunk. Oh really? Because your teeth are going to be gone. My face will be nice and swollen so I could go as a chipmunk. Which one? That's the question. <laughs> Not yet. I'll let you know. You're more of an Alvin. <laughs> Am I? Yeah, I think I'm probably <laughs> Theodore. <laughs> maybe that'll be our costumes. <laughs> guys, we appreciate you watching. We love you. We'll see you guys back here tomorrow.